Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fangirl, here to review episode 6 of Kuzu no Honkai. Okay, so, well, remember how last review I said they should just date? Well, that kinda happened? I mean, they said they were dating now, like Moogie did, and I guess she told him, because we didn't really see her tell him, per se. It was kinda like, she said it in her head, so you just kinda assume, they're like, oh, we should date now, so let's just date now. It's like, okay, but at the same time... Hana V, on the other hand, she's just becoming as bad as teacher lady. I always forget their names. Uh, the teachers I always forget the teachers' names. But she's just becoming as bad as her because she wants to beat her, as she said in the beginning of the episode. Um, it's just like, why become, like, the person you hate? It's just like, just, uh, I don't get her mentality with that. It's like, you're stupid. You're very stupid. It's like, stop becoming, like, you're basically becoming a slut is what you're doing. And you just need to stop. Like, seriously, it's like, girl chill. <laughs> um, but yeah, she, she decides to, you know, date Mugi, and at the same time, she tells her friend, uh, the Echon, she tells her friend Echon, you know, we can't do this anymore, we can't, you know, be in our weird relationship thing that we got going on, so we're gonna stop doing that, but Echon, on the other hand, is like, you know what, I'm kind of yandere, so I'm gonna keep pursuing you. So yeah, uh, Echon's kind of a yandere a little bit, because she, uh, she keeps, you know, moving in on Hanabi, and it's like, okay, so is this just gonna turn into school days where in the end, Echon's just gonna stab Hana, and then Mugi will be there, and then she'll stab Mugi, and then just, I don't know. I kind of want that to be the ending, to be honest, because it'd be kind of funny. Uh, I'd kind of laugh at it, to be honest, but I doubt it. But, yeah, Echon's definitely showing a little bit of a yandere side to her, and I was like, Okay, then. That's kind of scary. Um, yeah. Things happened when they were in the library, too, that were very awkward. I'm like, can you not do that while you're in the library? Because there's people around, but okay. Um, anyway. Um, so, and with the Moogie situation, he... He's just kind of chill. He's kind of like, okay, I'm dating her now, cool. But then he's like, oh, my tramp detector's going real high. And it's like, okay, so he knows that she's doing the is, like, cheating on him, like, and he doesn't care? Okay, like, <laughs> and then his, uh, childhood friend, the one with the really, really annoying voice, uh, is, like, uh, comes to him, is like, you know, that she doesn't really love you, you should go out with me, and he's like, okay, maybe we should go on a date, and she's like, okay, let's go on a date, and I'm like, wait, that just happened? Okay, so now those two are gonna go on a date, and I feel like to scare her off, because Mugi does definitely not does like her, does not like her at all, because it's like, mm -mm, no. I mean, I wouldn't like somebody with that annoying voice. It's like, oh, my boy. But anyway, he's probably gonna do something, maybe to scare her off and try to get her to, like, a, you know, a, a hotel or, you know, alone or something like that, and then he's gonna try to do things, and she's probably like, no. But I wouldn't be surprised with this series if that girl is like, you know what? Okay, Moogie, if this is what you want to do, let's do it. You know, I wouldn't be surprised with that. At all. It wouldn't surprise me one bit. Um, yeah, but everybody in this show is just messed up in the head with how they think relationships work. Like, for instance, when that guy that now uh, Hanabi is seeing on the side is like, you know, um, uh, physical stuff comes first, emotions come later. And I'm like, that's stupid. It's emotions come first, um, physical stuff comes way later, but, you know, whatever, guys. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just, I'm just sitting through this entire series, like, all of you are stupid. Like, did you all just get dropped on the head as a baby, and is that why all of you are just really dumb? Because I honestly think that's what it is, all of you are just so stupid with your uh, the way you think relationships work except for teacher dude. Again, teacher dude, in my eyes, is still fine. He's the only one who's fine in this series. Maybe. It depends on if that one thing is a thing. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. So, what did you guys think of this episode of Kuzu no Honkai? Oh, and Summer Vacation is now a thing. So, I'm assuming we're getting a beach episode, swimsuit episode in the coming episodes. I'm assuming that. Maybe it'll happen in the next episode. I don't know. It might not happen at all. Uh, we'll just have to see how that goes down. So, that's all I got to say about this episode. And I will see you guys in whatever I review next. Bye!